hair is wet. Welcome to the vlog. I'm running late as per usual because this morning, lucky for me, um, one of my nails popped off. And that actually has never happened since I moved to LA and got my nails done, except for this one nail salon that like all my gel polish peeled off that night. But like my actual like gel X like tip nail thing just popped right off. So I'm actually on my way to the nail salon right now to get that fixed. And then at 11.30, so it's currently like 10 right now. Um, and I really like need to be quick in there. At 11.30, I am getting my hair done. So that's why I just wanted to, like, I don't know, I feel insecure going into the salon with dirty hair. I remember one time a hairstylist was like, oh, my clients come in with dirty hair. And I was like, oh, I'm definitely one of them. So now I try to wash my hair and hopefully it'll be dry by the time my appointment arises. And I am doing something a little different today. I think I'm going a little bit darker. I'm doing one more kind of round of dark hair before I probably eventually go back to blonde for like spring and summer. Maybe in time for like my Japan trip or something. I'm not entirely sure, but yeah, that's the plan. That's the agenda. Rushing over to the nail salon really quick. Oh, detour alert. And then I'm actually meeting a friend for dinner tonight. So yeah, it's gonna be a busy day. Come along, let's do it. just made it to the salon and honestly my hair actually is mostly dry it really just uh, blew in the wind for the last 20 minutes so I'm gonna head inside and we'll see what this ends up looking like here is a little bit of a before this lighting is terrible I think we might go just a little bit darker a little bit richer I'm gonna cover up these money pieces and we're gonna have some fun with it so we'll see you in like an hour and a half wish me luck <laughs> Right, here we have it. It is definitely brown, like my hair is brown and I kind of like it. And this is a like semi-permanent, temporary, whatever you want to call it, hair color. So it's just a toner. Just wanted to freshen it up a little bit. So now I am feeling fresh. It is about 1.15. I need to go home, feed Layla her lunch, get some more work done and go out to dinner tonight. I'm actually meeting up with Allison from the Fitness Marshall. I'm so excited. We've actually, well, we haven't seen each other since like 2019. We met at a YouTube event and we haven't like gotten to actually like meet up since we've been in LA yet, like at the same time. So. So that'll be fun. But yeah, I love my hair. I need to focus on driving now, so we will check in in a bit. Brunette era. I can't wait to see what it's gonna look like when I'm like fully ready. All right, I've gotten myself ready and I'm like, now I'm questioning this outfit, but in my mind, it's really cute. This is actually a nightgown that I thrifted from the Rose Bowl flea market. And then I threw on these red boots with it because I thought it would look really cute, but now I'm questioning myself and maybe I'll put on the long blazer with it. Drew said it looks cute and I should go out like this, but let's just try one more thing. My Uber is in fact two minutes away, so um gonna need to make this snappy. Okay, let's see if this looks any better. I have a feeling I'm gonna like this more. Um, uh, ignore the mess in the background. I think this might be it. This is better for nighttime too. Okay, yeah, you know what? I think I'm feeling this more. So this leather blazer is thrifted. This dress is thrifted. It is a nightgown. And then these boots are from Journey Collection. And I thought a little pop of red might be fun. I'm loving this dark hair. It's really, really fun. I feel like it's gonna be a fun era for sure. But I need to pee really quick and then head out and meet up with Allison. I can't wait. It is the next day. Allison and I had such a good time last night catching up, chatting, having a couple drinks, having pizza. I got home around like 9.30 ideal night. Layla and I had a little photo shoot when I took her out to poop. Drew was laughing at me very much. And now it is Friday. I just got to Laguna Beach, my favorite place in the entire world. And I'm meeting up with Sierra because we decided we're gonna go on like a nice little outdoor adventure today. Take a little walk, get some exercise, get some sunshine. I get to see Grace for the first time in like a year. And I'm so excited to see them. So I just stopped into Earth Cafe to pee a little bit. And now we're just gonna walk along the beach and have a quintessential what I would, 
imagined my California life would be morning. I'm excited. We made it. And look who I found. Hi, friends. <laughs> okay, I think Carrie's gonna get a new job as an excavator. <laughs> One more? One more. Is Whatever Carrie the like. most fun ever? Yeah. Oh, thank you. You're the most fun ever too. Yeah. Oh, you like her her charm on her it's camera? A smiley faces. Yeah, a smiley. done a terrible job at vlogging today but, but we just had a nice a good time. yeah that is true that's the sign of a good time and that's why this vlog is just me saying I'm doing something and then catching up hours later but we actually just finished like a good few hours on the beach just hanging out playing with grace and now we're at a place called the stand in Laguna Beach that's so a vegan place we're gonna get like a couple sandwiches maybe do some more walking we're having a great day I just saw this little thing on the table that said it, they've had a 100% vegan menu for 45 years it's crazy like that's a really long time especially like people even years ago? when I was in high school when I worked at Whole Foods it was wild oats back then and vegan was this like new thing that like only a few people were doing right I and feel like yeah all these so places cool. are popping up now yeah but 45 years they're an OG clearly we got our delicious food got a little taco bowl and I think it has like beans and rice mostly and then like some salsa guac and jicama. We got some chips. Sierra got some okay. kind of chipotle ranch that I might steal some of. Please, let's uh, steal away. <laughs> let's see how it is. Oh, we also got some habanero sauce. You can take Looks one of those. pretty good. Mmm. <laughs> she says you need to eat one more. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> We just finished up some fun playtime at the park. We swung. We actually went over to like where the hike is, the lookout, and just did a little bit of gazing at the beautiful view. And now we're gonna head back. I'm like, hi! I'm gonna go back to LA. Well, we had the best day. Yes. It was so much fun. And now we've decided that it's gonna be like a monthly thing. Yes, we're mm -hmm. gonna alternate months. We're gonna see each other once a month at a midway point between LA and San Diego. Um, and I think we're gonna alternate between Laguna Beach and Disney days. That's, we have to. All right, bye. I will see you all in March. Well, no, we're gonna, we gotta get yeah, together in February. Month. Disney day. Disney day. Bye, bye I love you. Love have you a so safe long. drive. Goodbye all. Bye. We will head home now and we will reunite very soon. Yes. Yay! At Disneyland. Disney!
shit. Oh. <laughs> that was right when I started recording. <laughs> Good morning, it's the next day. Um, I finished up with Sierra and it took me two and a half hours to drive home. Um, that was unexpected, just a lot of traffic and stuff. And Drew actually <laughs> sat on the phone with me the entire time. We talked on the phone, like hands-free, the entire drive. What Honestly, what look. a sweetheart. It was like two hours and 20 minutes. Yeah, you should look. Do you have your phone? I don't either. Just trust me. It was over, it was almost two and a half hours. I know that. But, and then we rushed home, went out for a cute little dinner date last night. It was really nice. We went to just this like random spot that we saw and it was so cute. Um, we really enjoyed it. It was a nice wholesome date night and we were asleep by freaking 9.30. I had two glasses of wine and I was <laughs> It's the wine, it does it to you. But um, now it is Saturday morning and we are going to head out. Well, first we have to get like a notary thing. We have to get something notarized for our health insurance. And then after that, I think we might get some brunch. So that's gonna be fun. I have the cutest sweater on right now. I'm gonna show you. Layla is, um, you know, she looks dead behind me, but she's not. I am so obsessed with her. <laughs> so we'll just try to uh, go around her. But this sweater I actually picked up at the Rose Bowl flea market the last time I was there, which was like a couple weeks ago. And I love it. The tag on the inside, I can't tell what brand it is, but it said handmade in Korea, which is amazing. And it's just so cute. The sleeves are like a little bit too short for me, but I kind of tried to stretch them out a little bit when I was hanging it up to dry. And it just has these cute little flowers all over it. And I just buttoned it on the top. I just have like a white tee underneath. And then I have these good 90s, good American jeans. Um, these are the darker wash, so I don't know, thought I would try something fun. I don't typically wear darker jeans, but this was like a gift card purchase. I had a gift card to use, and then I actually have just my Ugg slippers on. I don't know if I'm gonna wear these out. I might change into some sneakers, but yeah, that's my outfit of the day. Still getting used to the darker hair, but it's really fun. I did some cute little front braided bangs this morning. I think I might get extensions soon. I don't know. Just, I'm kind of having fun with my look at the moment. Just sort of playing around with it, seeing what I like, trying new things. I almost impulsively got bangs when I was at the salon the other day. Listen, I'm just kind of like feeling playing around with my look. So anyways, okay, let's head off, get some adult things done, and then go to brunch. later and we are in the car heading to go on a hike it's like just before 3 p.m it's like 2 30 we haven't done any kind of like movement besides like walking to get brunch our brunch was pretty good um then we walked home and just kind of like hung out for a bit we actually i'll show you when we get home but we actually made a beef stew this morning in the crock pot so that'll be ready by the time we get home it's been like slow cooking for the last six hours or so by the time we get back it'll be ready so that'll be really good but um we're trying out an area that we've never been to before. And it's like near um, Will Rogers Park, I think it's called. So I think this is like closer to the Palisades, Pacific Palisades, um, this little kind of hike trail thing. So I think it'll be really fun. We're gonna get in some movement, get some sunshine. Yesterday in Laguna was so nice. I like need as much outdoor time as possible. Plus for the first half of this month it rained. So for the second half, I've just like desperately needed sunshine. So that's what we're gonna do. done with our hike. Drew and I have actually never done this hike before and both Drew and I have imposter syndrome to like the point where it sort of hinders us from doing stuff because we're like where do you park? How do you get there? What if I look stupid and I don't know what I'm doing? So it like kind of prevents us from doing stuff sometimes. It's like definitely been a hindrance and we did it. We had no idea where we were going but we figured it out and I would highly recommend. Oh he's helping me now. <laughs> I'm the accident prone one. <laughs> Anyways, we're back on flat ground. I don't know, like, uh, if you were considering stepping outside your comfort zone and trying something new, I would recommend it. Because we both said that we really enjoyed coming. It was so fun. Yeah. Very cute and very pretty here. I would recommend coming if you're in the LA area and you're, like, visiting or if you have family in town or whatever. This is called the Inspiration 
Loop, I think, at Will Rogers State Park. What a lovely afternoon. We made it just in time, like before sunset, sort of-ish. Yeah. Now we're gonna go home and eat our beef stew. Yeah. All right, we made it home. We got into our cozy clothes, AKA our pajamas. And if you can hear our neighbor's orange tree being cut down, we do apologize, it's been happening all day. But anyways, we made a beef stew for dinner and we found this recipe on Pinterest and it's by the Cozy Cook, I think it's called. Ooh, this looks really good. I'm gonna show you what it looks like. Here she is. It looks phenomenal. We're gonna finish it off with a little bit of sea salt, this like finishing Malden salt, and then maybe some more pepper. We were gonna get some crusty bread on the way home to eat this with, but honestly, we're hungry, and we're just gonna eat it and cozy up on the couch and watch some shows. I'm also calling myself out because uh, I've become re-addicted to Diet Coke. I don't wanna talk about it. I stopped drinking Diet Coke years ago, not because I was like, oh, it's so bad for you, but because I stopped drinking caffeine like almost 10 years ago, probably like 10 years ago now. And caffeine-free Diet Coke isn't like super widely available everywhere. Like when sometimes you go to like, you know, random sub shops and they'll have like those little, it's, always a it's like Firehouse or something. And they'll have the little touch screen one. Um, and I have always preferred Fountain but like I caved recently. I was like, let me just like get a couple cans. This is my second 12 pack, so. Did you put it in with your baby ice? Wait, okay. So I think this is gonna go out of order, but I did recently get an Opal ice maker and I will be reviewing it in a main channel video, but Drew just had the most genius idea. God, I love you. I'm pretty smart. In my smart. Stanley, oh, all the girlies on TikTok are doing that. Okay, I'm doing it. Oh God, this is full. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. This is a monumental occasion. If you're on TikTok, you understand. I'm gonna make my right in Cheers. Uh, it's so good! Wow, you're a genius. We should try to um do what the Utah girlies, the Utah moms, and they put like half and half or something like that, or like coffee creamer in it. Have y'all heard of that, by the way? There's like, um, and I mean, if you're from Utah, you already know this, but there are like- There's like soda shops. Yeah, soda shops in Utah because they don't drink alcohol, but I also thought they don't drink caffeine, but I guess some people do. But there's like these Maybe drink items on the menu that are like Dr. Pepper with milk in it. And I'm like, at first I was like, ew, that's disgusting and feels like sacrilegious. But now I'm like, I kind of want to try it. So maybe we'll have to try that in the future. But anyways, okay. It's beef stew and diet coke time. <laughs> ah, I love being trash.